All right, so you got the Real Housewives yep. of Beverly Hills. What do you think you guys bring to the table that the New Jersey and uh, Orange County doesn't have? Well, we do have a lot of access in Beverly Hills. You know, we're a small, sophisticated town within a big city, so we have LA, but we also have this microcosm of extreme wealth, sophistication, glamour, fashion. I mean, you can walk down Rodeo, Rodeo Drive and get the best clothes in the world, and um, anything else you could possibly need. So. We're really, I think we're shedding some light on what it's like to live life in Beverly Hills and although there's all of this glamour, there's also real life problems going on and just because we live in the world's most famous zip code doesn't mean we don't have issues and then when we opened our lives to the world we decided to also open up our hearts and the, the problems and the struggles that we each face and I hope that women in America can connect to us and to see that just because we live in this particular zip code doesn't mean that we're any different than they are. All right, take, what if we took the Beverly Hills housewives, uh -huh. threw them in the same room yeah. as all the other housewives in New York, oh. Atlanta. Oh, just the six of us scares me. What are you talking about? Okay. Which group of housewives do you think would come out on top? If it was a battle oh, royale of all of them. Are you kidding? <laughs> we have the highest heels, so we would absolutely win a fight with any other housewives franchise. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's nice to meet you. How you doing, Russ? Hollywood Hi, Life. Nice, nice to meet you. you. So, Halloween's right around the corner. Yes. Do we have a Halloween costume or what? what, what? Yeah. I have a history of being a pirate. Oh. Yeah. I'm a pirate. And I always go to Adrian's for Halloween. We've nice. been friends for quite a while. Nice. So my little girl's going to be a mermaid. Oh, very nice. A queen mermaid with a cape. What's the difference? I, I didn't know either, but she told me not just a mermaid, a queen mermaid. So Sounds it's good. got a cape and a crown. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, I know. It's like, the, you know, it's the Beverly Hills mermaid. Now, now is your, your kid's going to be on the show as well? She here is, in the, yeah. Oh, that's cool. So I uh, how is that, like with the cameras around? Is there ever a time that's just like, yeah, don't film this right now kind of thing? Or? Yeah, you know, she's four, so I don't know that she really got the whole camera thing at first. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know if she understands that because there were cameras, that means it's going to be on television later. Oh, okay. So we'll see. I don't know. When she that, sees herself on television. Yeah, right well, that's going to be like, wait a second, where are my twins here? Yeah, so but by next season, she'll be like, I, where's my hair and makeup? <laughs> now, there's a lot of times that reality television is reality television. And there's like some, some things that are thrown in there, kind of thing. What makes really? this? How can we get any of that? Exactly. What makes this real? Like what what what, what was brought to this uh, show to make everything just legit? You know, I think whenever we all signed on, we agreed that we were going to open our lives to the cameras, and that was going to include the good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, there are moments that I absolutely regret that I don't even feel like I was myself. But um, I think that people it's all on tape, so. And I definitely show challenges in my life, you know, it's not, just because you live in the world's most famous zip code doesn't mean your lives are easy, and we are, we have challenges with our children, with our marriages, with our friendships, and you're going to see that. Now, finally, there's, there's a bunch of people that want to see the zip code, want to see the, the, the fabulous life, but are we going to see you and the rest of the ladies just like, you know, walking in 7-Eleven sometime, and just like, dealing with that, like, because you've, you've lived this awesome Awesome life, and then just like, oh no, I'm walking into something that unknown. Um, well, I'm from Oklahoma, so I've okay. spent, you know, I've been to 7 Eleven. Okay. <laughs> I'm You've heard sure. of it. <laughs> I'm not sure how interesting that would be, but okay. you know, I've, I've been there. I've had my well, slurpee. This, I've like, even dress? had a suicide slurpee. Oh my! Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Wow! There. Wow! <laughs> you just got it real. <laughs> but like, you, 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 you could have this like great makeup of this dress and just walk in, and people be like, "What is going yeah. on?" Yeah. But you know what? Tomorrow morning, I've got to get up and take my daughter to, to school, and just like every other mom, and then I've got a cup of coffee in one hand, the car keys, and a bag. In the other Do you and, make you know, lunch for, uh, for for your kid for school? And the, well, she has, yes. Or someone make lunch Some, for... <laughs> she eats. She, I do feed her. So, she, she, she does eat. Excellent. Well, we'll leave it at that. Congratulations on that. <laughs>